Chris the Dating Doc here with a Dating Doc Raw episode. If you are new to the channel, I provide advice and tips for singles, but this Dating Doc Raw version of me is where I go in, everything from the manosphere to feminism to any kind of dating news that brings out a little bit of the more mean, raw side of the Dating Doc. So what am I talking about today? I'm talking about sticking to your original message, lack of consistency and values when it comes to content creators in the manosphere. I see this a lot, okay? If you go to any of your favorite manosphere content creators and you look at the videos that they do, and in the span of two weeks, you may see them flip-flop on what their belief system is or lack of belief systems. For me, I'm telling you right now, I, it irks me when I see someone who's reading the Bible one second Going through all these quotes, you're right, uh, using the, the Bible as, as, as this moralistic compass in their YouTube videos. And then the next week, they're back to hating women, right? Now, it's one thing if, if you're using it as a historical reference, right? Using it as an example, maybe critiquing the Bible. But no, you're seriously reading the Bible as this holier art thou type of dude. And then you're you're back to your your toxic ways, right? projecting whatever insecurities and pain and hurt into something that sounds semi-intelligent and coherent. And I can see through that. I can see through that because, again, as a military veteran, as someone who's worked with other businesses, I can sense if there's that lack of consistency in a person's character. And that facade is something that I stay away from in real life. That's why it's rare that I take upon any kind of streams or live interviews because the same person who invites you on may talk about you the next week. And that's lack of values. There's nothing there. There's no foundation. So my advice for any of you and all of you that are listening to this and have your own channel, take a moment to breathe, reflect on your content, and cement your content. Have have a style to it, okay? Have something that's consistent, a brand on who you are. Don't just jump out here from left to right to try to grab viewers. Some of you guys have great charisma, great graphics, presentation style, but no consistency. And your followers, your watchers, your listeners will eventually sniff you out. In my opinion, consistency equals authenticity. That's why politicians are stereotyped as bullshitters, because they will flip-flop for your vote. They pander for your vote. Some of you are pandering for views. Okay? You can't go from looks matter, and the next week you talk about looks don't matter. You can't talk and teach men how to chase women, but then you say avoid woman. Okay? Now, gray area is very much allowed. You can tell men, hey, look, if you want to be up on game, this is how you can go towards a woman. But if you're flustered, if you're frustrated, frustrated, if you felt rejected from woman, then take a step back. But don't say MGTOW and then at the same time be PUA. That just doesn't make sense. It's like being a, a, a black member of a of a right-wing uh, supremacist group. Just doesn't make sense, right? Shout out to uh, Clayton Bixby for those that remember uh, Dave Chappelle's show, episode one, season one. No, come on now. So you can teach that. You can teach offense and defense, but don't go out here saying you hate defense and then you're teaching defense the next week. Come on now, right? So I see this where they despise a certain content creator they even make a roast video or or one of you know all this beef that's going on, this civil war going on in the red pill community. And then the next week they're business partners. Reciprocal altruism. <laughs> oh my gosh. They go from their favorite color is red to their favorite color is blue in the span of three days. And people are gonna grow, right? You're gonna grow as a content creator as well. 
You're going to evolve and grow. You're going to you're going to have new belief systems. Maybe the pills go away. Maybe all these new acronyms start. And it's okay to change. But provide a disclaimer saying, look, you know what? I used to think this way. And now I believe this. That's my tip, you know, is, is provide a disclaimer saying I used to be MGTOW and now I believe you should try. But don't do it where you're so passionate about being MGTOW. And then your next video is how to how to how to get some, you know, how to show receipts. That's not authentic. If on you know, being inauthentic is where you're trying to sway viewers. You're trying to get them energized about a viewpoint. Even at the cost of you not, you not having a foundation, you not having something that cements you as, as a man. And that's no better than popular news networks. Okay. They're in the business. Popular news networks are in the business of pissing you off so they can glue you to the TV because the more pissed off you are, the more you feel like you have a purpose, especially when you don't have a purpose outside of work and watching the news. It's the same thing with some of the folks that are on YouTube. When they latch you with that anger, and the more they can get other people pissed off, they got you. Because a man whose emotions can be controlled is weak. Bottom line, you either end up dead, you end up in prison, unemployed or underemployed, because you don't have the emotional discipline to keep what you got. So using the analogy of martial arts, if you're going to teach someone the basics of angling their punches, you don't switch it up the next day and say punches are worthless. And instead, you start teaching them cartwheel kicks. That doesn't make sense. Have a foundation, content creators. Okay. And this is what's happening. It's, it's the, the tragedy or the algorithm, the algorithms of YouTube. I think there might be a fallacy that only your new content matters. So you might as well grab as many as you can. But I'm going to tell you right now is if you decide to run your personality, your foundation based on your YouTube channel, you're missing out. You're being a facade. You're being you're becoming your own worst enemy because you're talking about how women are so fake using makeup and they become these only fans seeking this vapid attention and all this jazz, but you're going all over the place trying to grab attention as much as you can. I know that at work, my relationships, casual dating life, et cetera, consistency in my message and attitude is where it's at. When they say keep it real, consistency is the basis of that. And to me, yeah, it shows instability. And the grown-up followers, not the ones that get energized and they need a movement and they're all angry. No, the actual aware followers, because I, I really despise using the, the word woke. Everyone uses the word woke like everyone uses the word goat and greatest of all time and they throw around it. Anyway, those aware followers are going to start questioning what you represent if you keep flip-flopping. And I noticed it too many times in the Manosphere. Honestly, I don't have much time to view all the Manosphere content. So I'm not going to assume it's everyone in the Manosphere because that's that'd be asinine for me to say that it's one or all. But there's plenty there in the Manosphere that keep flip-flopping. You need to look for a consistent character, okay? You're either passionate about trying to get views and entertain people with empty information that just gets people energized and angry. Or we're going to help trying to raise these men to avoid certain traps with women, but at the same time to be better men and have consistency and pillars of a foundation as a man. If you keep flip-flopping for views, you a wankster. You're fake, and I appreciate the fact you've built your channel, but you're not the kind of person I want to be around. Dating Doc, signing out.